Okay, end of June 6th, 1944, the Battle for Normandy. I finally finished a turn after some breaks. Uh, the Commonwealth have three victory points right now because they took that town of uh, Torn. Torn? Anyway, sorry. Um, and you can see this is all that's left of the Airborne. I guess we'll start over here. Uh, so the two things I'm having a little trouble grasping, supply and combat supply. Um, and, and really, combat supply is really an instance of um, command and control for artillery. Um, because you always have to have a connection to a headquarters and a connection to a, a core headquarter. And the core has to have access to the supply source. So that tells me that it's really a communication network in that case. Though it does cost you supply points to use combat for the Allies, so it's probably a little bit of a mixture of both, really. Because in um, in general supply, all you have to do is you can the, a unit can get the pull the supply from the source headquarters. I'm not sure about core, probably. I have to check that. Anyway, uh, there's a there's lots of little exceptions in here, and I think that's why I'm kind of stumbling around in the game. It's taking me a while to figure things out, and some stuff I'm just I think I'm reading too much into it. Um, pretty fun. Um, I, I just kind of finished the German combat and turn and I, I had it kind of rekindled the like, oh yeah. So there's some really cool things here. I'm just gonna have to kind of work through some of the supply stuff. I really need to find somebody that knows the game and either play them in a couple turns or just kind of walk through some things. Uh, Blue Tweezers helped me with some stuff, but I think I kind of need to just kind of walk through a, you know, some, some, some more turns together. Um, so, uh, let's see here. What do I want to focus on? Um, so you can see, uh, Juno's made some progress. I probably kind of reported on this already. Swords made a little bit of an impact. You saw Pegasus. I mean, so, you know, they've lost Pegasus, you know, the 716th took it. Um, it was a, uh, one-to-one -one attack there result. So a step had to be taken for each side. Um, they made some progress here. This guy had to retreat because he there's a mandatory attack, and I don't think I had any artillery within range to get it. So because there's only one headquarters on board, this guy, and there is no core headquarter. So, but I think I get a core headquarter coming on here in, in the next turn. I can see that's what I got to check. It's like, uh, yeah, now I got another Panzer. I got the 21st Panzer headquarter on, but I'll have to check that out. Um, you can see gold is kind of clogged up here. The Germans kind of came up here to try to block them out, which, you know, I don't know. Probably, I guess, wasn't, I mean, the, uh, wasn't the smartest thing. I Because the Germans had to attack on that. So, um, so really, they probably should have stayed a, a line away. So I lost two units there. Though the attacks were interesting, I rolled a one to four and got a no effect because... Of the, the chart, which was kind of fun. I rolled high and got a no effect, but they kind of vary. They put scatter some results within there, which I think is kind of cool. A two to three attack, I got, um, that's one that really hurt me. I got two to three attack, I rolled, um, and I got two attacker lost, and that was the German, um, and zero defenders. And then, um, and then a two to one attack, that was another no effect. So, what was interesting about that is that um, the one to, the German had to attack at one to four, and you think, oh, the Germans are going to lose some. Well, they didn't. So, um, what else? Anyway, it was fun. I don't have really a whole lot to report on. Um, I fired on some ships. I think I did that right. Nothing happened. Uh, I had a ship fire back. Nothing happened. Counterfire. I don't know if they are. I need to look up if these ships uh, use uh, combat supply points when they fire these ships. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, you can see what I did. I stacked up Con, of course. This is the 21st Panzer headquarters. Um, that's worth three. Oh, and the British did blow these bridges. They get to do this roll, the airborne do, and it's just a die roll, and they blew these bridges, which is a pretty big deal. It's going to slow the Germans down a little bit. They're going to have to kind of, this guy's going to have to go around. You know, this guy's going to have to go, and this guy's going to have to go way down here or around. But that's artillery, so he can he can stay back a little bit anyway, so it's cool. I'm going to keep him back there. I'll count out 10. Yeah, I'll move him around. I need to get him going there. So that's that. Um, so other things are kind of stumping me, like 
supply for um, the strong points. I think they're always in combat supply. Um, these guys are always in combat supply attacking ships, but not attacking on land. And again, that tells me again that that's, it's a communication network thing because they got the supply to attack. So it's not that, um, but I don't, but if they're also out of regular supply, they can't, oh, actually, I think these guys are out of supply. I should, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I've got to work that out. So I've decided I'm just going to work past it and blow past it. And if I mess it up, I mess it up, right? But I'll, I'll learn some of the other elements of the game. So, all right, that's that. Enjoying it and uh, I'll post it up and we'll talk to you after, I don't know, something happens or next turn. See ya. Keep rolling those dice, air out those robes and have fun.